This is a great rich pumpkin dessert for the Thanksgiving table that will feed and satisfy a hungry crowd. I'm Tess, and today I'm making a pumpkin cake. This pumpkin cake is easy to make and is rich in flavor. In a large bowl, I have a large can of pure pumpkin puree. Note that this is not pumpkin pie filling. It is pure pumpkin. I'm adding in a can of evaporated milk, four eggs, and now is a good time to mention that all ingredients are at room temperature and I use large size eggs when cooking and baking. Gotta have some sugar. And for the spices, I have cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you could substitute with a little nutmeg and ground ginger, giving everything a good mix to combine. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pouring my pumpkin batter into an ungreased 9 by 13 baking dish. Next, I have a box of yellow cake mix. I'm using Duncan Hines, but you can use the brand of your choice. Just sprinkling the cake mix over the pumpkin as evenly as possible. Now I'm pouring over some melted butter. Lots of melted butter. This really makes this pumpkin cake rich. This is optional, but I'm sprinkling some crushed pecans over the top. This will help form a nice crunchy crust top. And that's it. This is going in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 60 minutes or until the edges start turning brown. The pumpkin cake is done and the kitchen is smelling like Thanksgiving. I'm going to let this cake completely cool. This recipe made six to eight nice sized servings. The pumpkin cake is nice and sweet and rich. The texture is more like a pumpkin pie with a slightly crunchy crust. You can even see the separated layers after baking. This pumpkin pie reminds me of the sweet potato casserole that I make. Very similar texture and flavors. You can serve the pumpkin cake as is, or top with some whipped cream and a little drizzle of caramel sauce. Or how about a side of vanilla ice cream? Just in time for the holiday table. I hope you give this easy and delicious pumpkin cake a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!